gorgeous Canadian summer. Partying in the background. Party. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got me wet. <gasps> Happy Canada Day! Greetings from Thorburn Lake. What up? Newfoundland, Canada. Hiya! For this week's update, I thought maybe I'd give you a tour of our cabin at Thorburn Lake in Newfoundland. This cabin was built by Greg's dad and Greg's pop. Um, it was for a friend of the family, so because they helped build it, the cabin, they got to spend many years coming up here whenever the original family wasn't here. And then that original family decided not to use the cabin anymore and they sold it to Greg's parents. And now Greg is taking it over. You can see the deck really needs to be redone. So we're gonna wrap it all the way around the cabin. Cause why wouldn't we? If we have to build a new deck, why not make it really nice? Give us some better outdoor living space. We just used this basic fire pit and I put a grill over it and we cook over the fire, which you've probably seen some videos. The, what's called the ugly tree and a nice hammock. The ugly tree is like one of my favorite trees. There's this beautiful natural two giant boulders there that make a great sitting area. So as you can see, originally I was gonna do a gravel path here, but instead we're gonna do this wraparound deck. And I had built a fire pit back here where you could put grills on it and I was gonna try and make it like an oven. And then it occurred to me, why don't I do natural building and make it like a real proper kind of clay oven? Of course, I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> I'm a get her done kind of person. So it's not going to look perfect and I've never done this before. So I'm just basing it on information I'm getting from the internet. Uh, but I did find this giant clay deposit right here, which can be perfect. And there's seems to be a few of them around the property if I need more. So I just need some water to mix it and make sure that it already looks like it's got a decent amount of sand mixed into it. So as you can see, I started with the base. I've pulled away all the stones that I had built around it. And I've started putting the clay in the base. And uh, I've just trampled it down and now I'm going to let some rain come on it overnight. And next time I come out here, I'll probably spend a half day just building this thing. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned. And then make a nice path to the outhouse, which eventually we're going to make a compost toilet. Greg's fat bike. But we also have a small septic toilet inside and it's all working fine so why, why uh, fix it if it ain't broke, right? So that'll be a future project. Um, I'll show you the inside next. Let's take a look. So, it's kind of dark today, it's raining. But we have a nice big picture window that looks out onto the forest and the ugly tree. Greg and I are probably going to get rid of these couches because they're a million years old, but uh, right now they serve as great beds as well. Awesome old-fashioned stove. Um, I'll give you a close-up tour of that. It's pretty cool. The only downfall is it doesn't, you can't see the fire burning in it, um, but it does keep the place really warm and we can actually, I've cooked a turkey in that oven, so it still works perfectly. Very rustic old kind of cabin. No running water, um, but what we do, uh, we've packed it away now, but we hang our platypuses from these hooks and then we have gravity fed water drip right into the sink. Propane stove and oven, but the oven doesn't work right now. And yeah, there's the awesome oven. So full, you know, oven. There's the, like warming rack down there. So going into the bedrooms. We have a master bedroom here to the left. Nice big built-in bed. Pretty straightforward. Lovely little spot. And bunk beds in the second bedroom. And a nice little septic toilet. Um, very small septic, so we only use it for number one. So it's basically the ladies bathroom. And then uh, everybody else for every other duty. <laughs> goes out back to the outhouse and uh, that's our cute little cabin off grid um, there are lights and light switches in case you want to put a generator on but we're looking at hoping to set up uh, solar power so I've just added some more uh, 
clay around the edges, tamp it down, put it in between the rocks. Um, so it's just loose clay, it's not with water or anything yet because I know we're going to get some rain between now and the time I come back. So I do kind of hope it makes a big old muddy hole and the next time I come I can smooth it all out and make sure that it's the right consistency. If you have any advice or tips about what I should do here, or even just suggestions or ideas. Yeah! Oh god, here I go, here I go, here I go. Yeah. Never seen a faster transformation from like a composed individual to a total like maniac. It's such a safe way to do it. Yeah. Like, it's way safer than just. It seems easier too. It. It is. You're just hammering. I am scraping some magnesium into some dryer lint. I made a little nest, and then there's big wood around it, and then I'm gonna put little wood on top after I. I'm gonna try and spark it. I'm... Perfect. It does flick pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. This is uh, arugula, basil, and pea shoots from our local farmer who brings us a CSA once a week. We're going to put potatoes and garlic and onions on top of that. In the rain and uh, then the wind as we got closer to town, the canoe actually started to kind of slip. Uh, it lost one of the little foamy guys that's holding on, so we uh, well didn't lose it, it just kind of slipped off, so great. Tightening it all up, I think the rain and the wind and the movement just kind of loosens up this uh, ratchet strap we have back here too. So we tighten that up and I think we should be good to go as long as we can get out. Yeah, listen to that squeak, eh? There we go.